So, in your elective, you did biology. So, how can biology benefit you as a nurse? Or how can you relate biology to nursing? That's what you are doing today. Let's dive right in. So, what is biology? Biology is the study of life and the activities of all living things from bacteria to high plants and animals. And human beings are living things. And when you go to nursing school, your training, most of your training will be how the human body functions, what causes it to malfunction, and what to do to bring it back to function. That is it, okay? So you learn about anatomy, physiology, and all of that. You learn about disease, pathophysiology, uh, hey, and then you learn how to take care of the body to bring it back to function. So biology is going to help you a lot. Your knowledge in biology already gives you a head start because because of this video, I had to look at the SHS biology syllabus and you guys did a lot from cells to tissues to organs to the systems of the body, the life processes of every living thing, movement, nutrition, growth and development, excretion. You learn about microorganisms, viruses, bacteria, parasites, fungi. You learn all of that and you are oh my god you people had a head start so if you are asked how to relate biology to nursing or how biology will benefit you as a nurse is the simplest or the easiest question they can ask you as a biology student so let's look at some of the responses you can give to answer this question okay and for the purpose of this video i'm going to focus my responses around uh, your knowledge on the body system tissues organs systems and also your knowledge about micro organisms or microbiology okay so that it's i don't talk too much so we we'll just focus on these two angles okay all right so the first response you can give to this question is i believe the job of a nurse is to keep the human body functional or helping as a medical team member to restore normal function so i need to understand the biological foundations of the human body and how to keep it functional and my basic knowledge in biology will help me in this area and a midwife can frame the same example as I believe the job of a midwife is to keep the body of the pregnant woman functional or helping as a medical team member to restore normal function. So I need to understand the biological foundation of the human body and how to keep it functional during pregnancy and delivery. And my basic knowledge in biology will help me in this area. Okay, yeah. Example number two is Biology will help me understand the treatments I'm providing for the patients or mothers in my care because I need to have an understanding of how the body works and when it's likely to malfunction. You know, if you know how the body works, you understand what is going wrong when it's malfunctioning. Example number three, I think as a nurse or midwife, I must know how the organs of the body works in every body system so I can understand the diseases and how they affect the function of these organs and systems to be able to care for and protect the life of my patients. Knowing biology takes me one step closer to helping patients or pregnant women. That's for midwives, okay? Another response you can give is, I believe nurses and midwives learn a lot about the human body because they'll be taking care of people when they are sick or when they are pregnant. My knowledge in biology and everything I learned about the human body will make it easy to understand all the subjects that we'll be learning in nursing or maybe free training school. Okay, now you can expect follow up questions when you talk about, especially when you use example number three, where you talk about organ systems, then the follow up questions could be, can you name some organs of the body or like one of you submitted the other day that she was asked to define cell. What is a cell? A cell is the smallest basic unit of life that is responsible for all of life's processes. Something like that. She was also asked to give five examples of body systems. Now with this one, if you are a midwife, don't leave out the reproductive system, okay? Don't leave out the reproductive system because it's important and it relates a lot to midwifery, okay? Uh -huh. So just go over your notes on body systems, the, the 10 the 10 or 11 body systems, depending on how you look at it, the respiratory, digestive, cardiovascular, nervous, and all, and the organs that are attached to it. And also go over the functions of those systems so that you don't find yourself wanting. 
The next examples are under your knowledge of microbiology. So anyway, I say nurses or midwives, it means if you are a nurse applicant, if you are a nursing school applicant, you say nurse, and if you are a midwifery applicant, you say midwife. Okay, all right. To prevent the spread of infections, nurses or midwives should have knowledge about the mode of spread of infection to be able to stop the spread of those infections. Now, this one I specifically put it this way so that it will make the panelists or the interviewers ask you about modes of transmissions of infections and also maybe some examples of diseases that are transmitted by the modes of transmission that you'll be mentioning okay it's good to answer questions that will bring out follow-up questions so that in this case you are showing the direction of your interview and not just answer yes no and leave the panelists to bombard you with more questions okay so if you say something like to prevent the spread of infection nurses or midwives should have knowledge about the mode of spread of infection to be able to stop the spread of those infections then you can get a follow-up question like tell us how diseases can be spread from one person to the other we have spread by contact spread by air some by eating contaminated food or drinks so they are food born or sexual contact that's for the stds or by the bites of insects or vector born okay so if they ask you okay tell us some of the examples of contact disease or airborne diseases, foodborne diseases, sexual diseases, insect bites, then you can list some of the examples for them, okay? And another thing could be, they will ask you, what is the easiest way to prevent the spread of disease from one person to the other? And the simplest way is by hand washing. Hand washing is the single most important thing that you can do as a nurse or a midwife that can prevent a lot of cross infections among your patients you touch one patient you wash your hands before you touch the next patient so whatever you are carrying from that patient you don't transfer to the next patient all right okay so moving on the second example you can give under your knowledge of microorganisms is a nurse or midwife must know procedures used to create and maintain a sterile field in the hospitals and these are based on the knowledge of microorganisms which we covered in my biology class which i'm sure my nursing and midwifery training will build upon so in your biology class you you understand why a sterile field is of utmost importance why your beakers and your uh, pipettes and all the flags that you use in your biology lab has to be clean 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 especially after dealing with samples and all of that so you use that same knowledge of sterility to apply to nursing why you have to maintain a sterile field because imagine in a theater and people we are just throwing instruments inside somebody's body like that your baby surgery that patient is full of infections that patient will become septic because we've introduced a lot of bacteria into their body so a sterile field a nurse must know how to maintain and also still under microorganisms you can also say a nurse or midwife must learn to identify bacteria that cause diseases in people so that the appropriate medications will be given to treat the patient properly because somebody will not have a viral infection and you go and give antibiotics it won't work okay so you have to know the organism that is causing the disease so that you know how to manage it and under biology you learn about nutrition you learn about nutrients you learn about the food sources and how metabolism and all of that plays its role in the human body and so if you want to target the nutrition aspect of the of biology and related to nursing i have a video here for food and nutrition you can use those examples as well to answer a biology question and if you've seen this one already then click on this video that will also be helpful to you i hope this video is helpful like it share and subscribe if you've not done that yet my name is Salasi. i'm a registered nurse here in ghana and i wish you all the best in your nursing interviews bye